Thanks. I'm here with Dr. Herb Aronow. He's the medical director of the Heart and Vascular Institute here at Henry Ford Health. So, Herb, what do you tell patients when they say they want to start an exercise regimen? Well, first of all, I'm usually thrilled. This is a big step for a lot of people, so I congratulate them. But I encourage them to ease into what they're doing. I don't think you have to go from zero to 60. Start slow. Work out once or twice a week. Work out for 15 minutes even. Ultimately, we want them to be at a point where they're working out for about 150 minutes a week at a moderate intensity. So if someone comes to you and they want to start, but they're maybe not in the best physical shape, what do you do, you do as a cardiologist to evaluate their fitness to do exercise? Well, the first thing I start with are some questions uh, about whether they perhaps have shortness of breath or chest discomfort or other concerning symptoms like lightheadedness that might mean more evaluation is necessary before they engage in exercise. Mm -hmm. But if someone is, let's say, of normal fitness level, do they necessarily need to see their doctor? I think in the average healthy adult, no. I don't think you need an evaluation before you start exercising, but I do think you should ease into exercise. Uh, not just how long you exercise, but the intensity of the exercise. You ought to be able to have a conversation with somebody if they're standing next to you, as opposed to huffing and puffing and not being able to complete your sentences. That level of intensity isn't necessary to get the benefits out of exercise. Some important advice about starting exercise. Thanks, Dr. Aaron. Now I appreciate it.